Can I help you? Hi. Do you know if uh Yeah I live here. Are you looking for me? Hi, I'm Brian. Brian Luffy from the maintenance office. What do you want? We talk inside. discuss with you about uh, an unfortunate incident that happened last night. Well, um, what incident would that be? You see, I live just above this room on the second floor. And last night around 11 p.m. I overheard uh, an argument. I believe it took place in this particular room. What exactly did you hear, Mr. Luffy? Well, there was a girl. She was crying out loud. She was desperately accusing the, the guy of driving her crazy. And there were some other noises. Then it became awfully quiet. And then it started up again, only more dreadful this time. She was screaming out like, You threatened me with a knife? You tried to stab me with a knife? And it went on and on like that until about a half hour later. And it was all quiet again. By that guy you're referring to me. If you live in this room, yes, I'm talking about you. Well, it is very unfortunate then. You're not just here to notify me that I caused some noise last night, are you? So it was really you. Well, Mr. Mr. I think as a tenant of this building, you must realize that this is a safe, orderly, welcoming neighborhood. And I, supervising the well-being of this building, must report any suspicious or potentially malicious behavior. And by authorities, I don't mean the owners, but if necessary, the police. I see. However, I'm here to cooperate, to settle any disputes rather than to, to cause more. So, if you are willing to cough up a little extra dough, I might explain to the owners and to the neighbors that what happened last night was just a... Uh, Is this a threat? Excuse me? Is this a threat? No, I'm here to settle dispute rather than to... If I pay up, then it will shut your fucking mouth. Sir. How unfortunate. Sir, I don't think you really know the gravity of this issue, which I might have to remind you. You don't, you don't have to. You know.
It's this knife you're talking about. I wasn't talking about any knife, sir. You did. I was just talking about the argument, which had something to do with the knife. This knife. Sir? It had something to do with this knife. I'm, I'm not quite sure why you're showing it to me. Do you feel threatened by the presence of this ordinary kitchen knife? No. I thought so too. How could someone be so easily threatened by just an innocuous blade? But she was. That woman. She was so scared. Why did she have to put up a scene like that? Yelling so loudly that everybody, especially you, could hear. Well, I'm sure that she didn't do it intentionally. I, I'm sure that... Where is she now? You wish to see her too? If I can. I mean, if she's okay, then I will take my leave right now. Well, she's in the bathroom, down there. But she's not willing to see you right now. Well, then, I guess I will be going. It's just a trivial matter, no big deal. You could just tell her that I stopped by to see if she was okay. She can stop by and say hi. Or she doesn't even need to do that. No. no. Sir. Don't you want to hear my side of the story as well? Seems like you overheard her since she was yelling so loudly. But I've got a story to tell too. She hit me, you know. That's how I would start. We, we lived together, but she always had this habit of hitting me. Um, she did that when she lost her temper and she would always apologize profusely afterward. But this time, she hit me again. So I didn't talk to her for a few days. But I couldn't get this thing off my mind, so eventually I asked her to say sorry. And she just looked back at me with this blank, somewhat ignorant stare, you know. She even squinted her eyes. I mean, how could she do that? I was upset. Uh, so this idea came to me that I would tease her a bit. So I went to the kitchen and I turned on the light and the fan and I took out a knife. Then I turned the light off and the fan and I walked back to her. The moment she saw me, she gave out this expression which deeply, deeply gratified me. So I asked her again to say sorry and she did. She said, I'm sorry, repeatedly. But then I noticed her hand reaching for her phone and I realized she was trying to call the police. And I felt betrayed. I felt like she didn't trust me. That she didn't trust that I'd never hurt her. So I put back the knife and seconds later, she started yelling. And that's when you heard everything. Would you like to call someone like the authorities on her behalf? I won't keep you any longer, sir to come by whenever you want. Wait. You can't just leave. 